In 2013, a strange-looking aircraft lifted off from a quiet runway in southern France and flew straight into the history books. Flying faster than any helicopter ever had, it reached a jaw-dropping 255 knots without tilting a single rotor. Eurocopter X3 left even the most seasoned pilots speechless. But how fast did it really go? And why was this revolutionary aircraft retired so soon? In the world of aviation, speed has always been a relentless pursuit. Jets kept getting faster, yet helicopters seemed stuck in a slow lane, bound by physics and rotor limitations. Traditional helicopters max out around 175 knots. Push beyond that, and you risk instability, retreating blade stall, and dangerous vibration. But Eurocopter, now Airbus Helicopters, saw an opportunity here. They aimed to build a rotorcraft that could fly like a plane, but still take off and land vertically like a helicopter. The idea was bold. Combining the vertical agility of a helicopter with the high-speed efficiency of a fixed-wing aircraft, but not through tilt rotors or complex moving parts. Instead, the goal was something simpler, more reliable and scalable, a hybrid design that could work in the real world. And this vision wasn't just about setting records, it was about solving real problems like long-range military missions, urgent search and rescue operations, and offshore transport where every second in the air can be the difference between life and death. So, in 2010, development began on a radical experimental aircraft, and by 2013, it was ready to take flight. They called it the X-3, short for X-cubed, a name as mysterious as the machine itself. What came next would stun even the people who built it. At first glance, the Eurocopter X3 looked like a helicopter with wings, and that's because, technically, it was. But under the surface, it was hiding one of the most innovative rotorcraft designs ever built. At its core, the X3 was based on the Dauphin, a proven helicopter platform, but Eurocopter completely reimagined how it moved through the air. It was powered by two Rolls-Royce Turbomeca RTM322 turboshaft engines. These engines drove a five-blade main rotor, just like a conventional helicopter. But that's where tradition stopped. Instead of a tail rotor, the X3 featured two forward-facing propellers mounted on short, fixed wings. These propellers provided forward thrust and also counteracted the torque from the main rotor, eliminating the need for a tail rotor entirely. Even more impressive was the rotor behavior itself. As the X3 accelerated, the main rotor automatically slowed down. It's a brilliant move. At higher speeds, fast-spinning rotors create more drag and risk-retreating blade stall, the main reason most helicopters can't go faster than 175 knots. With the propellers taking over the job of forward motion, the main rotor could focus solely on lift. This meant the aircraft could accelerate like a plane, but still hover like a helicopter. Moreover, the X-3 didn't rely on complex anti-vibration systems. Test pilots reported remarkably low vibration levels, even at high speeds a huge achievement for rotorcraft engineers. It was a clean, elegant solution to a problem the industry had struggled with for decades. And in the skies above France, that solution was about to prove itself spectacularly. So, on the 7th of June, 2013, the X-3 lifted off near Easts, in southern France, for what would become its most legendary flight. Its goal was to break the world speed record for helicopters, but no one knew exactly what this unusual aircraft was truly capable of, because it had never been pushed to its absolute limit until now. Climbing to an altitude of nearly 10,000 feet, the X-3 roared across the sky. Then came the moment of truth. It hit 255 knots. That's 472 kilometers per hour. That speed was insane. If you want to keep soaring with this coolest aircraft, hit subscribe. Let's fly ahead together. To put that into perspective, most high-end military helicopters top out around 175 knots. The legendary CH-47 Chinook clocked around 170. 
even the American Sikorsky X2 only achieved 250 knots at best. But what made the X3's performance even more remarkable was how effortless it all looked. According to test pilot Arve Jamirek, the aircraft felt completely stable. There were no near stalls, no control issues, or excessive shaking. Just a clean, powerful flight. The aircraft flew like it had been doing it all along. The world's fastest helicopter wasn't just theory anymore. It was real. It was flying, and it had just changed the rules of rotorcraft performance. But this kind of breakthrough didn't come without cost or challenges. As groundbreaking as the X-3 was, it came with its own set of hurdles. First, it was still just a prototype. It wasn't designed for mass production, and adapting such a unique design to meet certification standards would take time, money, and further engineering. Then there was the question of purpose. The X-3 had incredible speed, yes, but there wasn't a demand for this kind of hybrid in the market. It wasn't a tilt rotor, like the V-22 Osprey, which could transition into full fixed-wing flight, and it wasn't a traditional helicopter either. So X-3 lived in a gray area, somewhere between both worlds. Operational costs were also a factor. Two turboshaft engines powering a rotor system and twin propellers meant more complexity and more fuel. And without a clear use case, the business case was hard to justify, even with its impressive performance. Still, the impact was undeniable. The X-3 proved that hybrid rotorcraft wasn't just possible, it could outperform everything else in its class. It challenged long-held assumptions about what helicopters could do. Engineers, military planners, and aviation experts now had a working model that shattered limits they thought were unbreakable. And perhaps more importantly, it sparked new questions about whether this technology could be adapted for real missions. X-3 may have broken records, but the real breakthrough was what it inspired across the aviation world. Yet, just as it was picking up speed, its journey suddenly came to a stop. and the X-3's DNA soon evolved. Not long after the program ended, Airbus Helicopters announced a new project, the Racer, short for Rapid and Cost-Effective Rotorcraft. It's directly inspired by the X-3, but designed from the ground up for real-world operations. It keeps the same hybrid concept, but it's wrapped in a cleaner, more aerodynamic frame ready for future missions. Their goal is to introduce a next-gen helicopter that's not only fast, but also fuel-efficient and scalable a machine that could carry passengers between cities, rescue people from remote disaster zones, or even support military missions, all at record-breaking speeds. Beyond Airbus, the X-3s also influenced broader conversations in aerospace. From NASA's advanced rotor programs to Sikorsky's high-speed concepts, the idea of hybrid rotorcraft has gained real momentum. So while the X-3 itself may be grounded, its legacy is very much alive. Flying forward in the designs it inspired, and the bold thinking it unlocked. Because sometimes, the aircraft that vanish are the ones that shape the skies to come. So, what do you think about this record-breaking helicopter? And which record-breaking story should we cover next? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an epic adventure. Thanks for watching, and see you in the skies.